Hey, what's up, Tigers, and welcome to the 2020-2021 virtual tour. We're going to take a look. That's dangerous. We're going to take a look at the Millennium High School campus. Um, we know we're going to be online for a little bit, but when we do return to campus, the goal is for you guys to be acclimated and have a basic idea of where classes are, where resources are, and you know, if I need help with something, where I go to get it. So we're going to take a look at the campus, um, walk through some buildings, identify some key places, and go from there. So let's go take a look. So this is the front of the school. This is where parents, visitors, if mom and dad bring you something, they're going to come in through here. But we're going to come back to this. I want to show you a bird's eye shot of the campus to kind of break it down a little bit more. So that's Millennium. This right here, this box, this is our student parking lot by the T building. This next box is the bus drop off area. And this last box is the front of the school where we just were. Um, but those are the three main areas of campus when it comes to entering and exiting. And we're going to focus on the front of the school. So let's go back here. And again, like I said, this is the front of the school. So when we go in, this is the front office. If your parents are dropping something off, they'll go here. This is where attendance is taken care of. Um, athletics can be taken care of here as well. And our school resource officer is also in this area. If we take a left here, we get to our administrative office. This is where our principal, assistant principals, the athletic director, um, several administrative assistants work. You're going to see them around campus consistently. They're out at lunch. They're out at school events. Um, and if you ever need them for any reason, this is where you're going to go. We're going to take a left right here and go over to the guidance counselor area. These are the counselors who are going to help you with your schedule and your classes. They'll take care of your academic stuff. If you have any personal issues, this is a good resource to utilize. Um, at the end of the day, their goal is just to make sure that you're on track to graduate and that your credits are taken care of. I'm going to bring you back to the front office, and instead of going left, we are going to make a right. And this is going to take us to our library. The library is a great resource at Millennium High School. You'll visit it multiple times throughout your four years. If you have any technology issues, Chromebook issues, the library is the place you're going to go. In addition, if you need to check out books, check out materials, calculators, things like that, the library is going to be the place for it. Um, the library also has a computer lab that you can access during lunch once we do get on campus. In addition, the College and Career Center is located in the library, as is the Tech Center. So if you're looking for information about colleges, internships, jobs, the College and Career Center is the place to go. And like I said, with the Chromebooks, the Tech Center is also in our library. So I'm going to take you to the bird's eye view again and have you look at that yellow box. That's where the bus drops off. So if you come in this way, you're going to walk through this gate and campus is going to look like this long sidewalk that leads to the other side of campus. On my left, I have the M building and on my right, I'm going to have the L building. We're going to start with the M building, though. So we're going to take a left and we're going to head in here and take a look around M building, L building located right next to the bus drop off zone. Um, in this building, you've got yearbook, you've got marketing and DECA, um, you've got foreign language, Spanish and French, and you've got other classes too. Math is thrown in there as well. Now we're going to go to the L building. Like I said, it's right across from the M building. Um, and don't think of this as like MTV Cribs. I don't have 14 different Ferraris to show you or a third living room. Um, I'm just giving you a quick rundown of the L building and what's inside of it. So as you can see here in our L building, we have a lot of our elective and CTE classes. We've got film and TV, graphic design, fine arts, photography. Also in the L building is a lot of math classes, so be on the lookout for that on your schedule. You may be on the far side of campus for your math class. So as we exit the L building, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of where we're at. That's the M building. We went there earlier, and we came from that gate over there. This is what your view is outside of the L building. These are trees, in case you haven't left the house in a while. So I'm going to take you back to this bird's eye shot and we're going to kind of do a quick little review. We've done the admin and front office building. That's done. We did the L and the M building. That's done. So now I'm going to take you down this walkway right here and kind of show you what is on this side of campus coming from that bus drop off area. So we walk through that bus drop off area. We walk past the M and the L building and this takes us Right here in between the dining area on the left here is the cafeteria and next to the cafeteria on the outside that window we sell smoothies there. 
On the right side is the Tiger's Den. It's another place where we serve lunch and students will eat lunch. And as we continue through here, you'll see the courtyard, which is another area where students will eat lunch as well. So we're gonna fly through the courtyard. We're gonna get to right here. This building in front of us, that's the admin building. We were there earlier, okay? On my left is the cafeteria. We just kind of went in a little, not quite a circle, but close. I'm going to show you one more area of importance, okay? That's the admin building still uh, up in that top right corner. This right here, this is the bookstore, okay? This is a big piece on campus. Uh, you'll be here a lot. You're going to come here to pay class fees, settle account disputes, purchase dance tickets. Um, you need to get a new ID. A lot of this is going to be taken care of at the bookstore. Um, so knowing where that is is going to be important. Like I said, it's next to the courtyard. Um, in front of the admin building right there at that door So I'm gonna take you back to the bird's eye shot again. We won't do this anymore I think this will be the last time we have to go to this shot um, But as you can see here, here's everything we have done already L building M building front office counselors the library Cafeteria Tiger's Den courtyard bookstore cross it all off. We're done with that for this next part of the video, I'm starting right here. So when the camera comes back on, I'm going to be right here in this area and I'm going to show you uh, this side of the campus over here. So right now we're standing in front of the J building. Behind me is the admin building and all the stuff we went over earlier. Um, this is the other half of campus. So we have the J building right here on our left. We're going to go down this sidewalk. On the right right there is the B building. And as we go through here, like I said, we, J on the left, B on the right. And we're coming up now on the S building, which is also going to be on the left. And to the right of us right now is the A building. And we are driving towards the T building. And if you remember back at the beginning of this video, uh, the T building student parking lot, that is another entry for campus. So we're over on the far left side right now. So we're coming into the T building. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in here uh, just because the majority of the teachers in this building uh, are upper upper level teachers, um, teach upperclassmen. I know if you have Miss Mansfield for math, she's in this building. But it's a two-story building located right next to the student parking lot. Um, it is the furthest point on campus when you go from the T to the L building. That's like the farthest that you can walk. So if you have a class in the T building and then you have a class in the L building, you're, you've got a little bit of a walk for you um, to get to your next class. But that's just a quick little look at the T building, um, and we're going to head off to some other places. So when you come out of the T building, this is going to be your view. Right there in front of you, that's the A building. To the right is the S, and we'll worry about what's on the left of this uh, here shortly. Everything we've talked about already, L building, M building, bookstore, that's all behind the A building on the other side of campus. This is our S building. It's got a couple classes in it, psychology, math. Uh, Spanish so there's a couple different contents in there as you walk out of it the a building is gonna be right in front of you I know we've talked about that a little bit that's home to our rise lab read 180 looking to the right this is our J building over here and that's just a rundown of classes in both the S and J buildings and I know I've said oh this has math oh this has English we got multiple teachers across campus that teach both so just because there is math in the s building or there is english in the m building doesn't necessarily mean that's where your class is going to be at the end of this you'll see kind of a breakdown of where a lot of freshman teachers are all right last time the bird's eye shot i'm going to go over everything that we've already gone over so ml building done admin in front office guidance counselor library all that's done we took care of the cafeteria and the tiger's den we took care of the bookstore we've covered the j building the s building the t building and the a building and now i'm going to take you right back to this yellow star we're going to start there again and we're going to go inside the b building so we're outside the B building. We're also right outside admin. J is on our left. When we go in, this is the B building. It's a two-story building. Um, it's going to connect to the gym at the very end, which I'll talk about here shortly. There's also um, the C building kind of connects to this building as well. So if you have classes in C221 or B105, you're going to kind of be in the same area. This building features a lot of our science classes. You're also gonna have um, culinary in this area, social science in this area, um, CTE. Like I said, there's, there's a lot of different classes in this little area. It's upstairs, downstairs, it has a little hallway that it connects to. 
but B and C classes are going to be kind of in this area. As we get to the end of the hall here, you're going to see the gym. Okay, that's our trophy collection for our amazing athletic programs and all of our state championships. If I go this way, I can get to the auditorium. If I go right, that's going to be the L, M building and all that. Also right here, and this is important too, this is where the nurse's office is. Okay, it's right before you hit the gym um, in that little hallway. And as you can see right there at the top, it says nurse. I'm going to take you to this back area over here and cover some of the buildings. Uh, it won't be as much walking through it. I'm just going to kind of show you a couple different buildings and shots that are in this area. So this is the student parking lot next to the T building. It's also next to the sand volleyball court. And like I said, it's on the far side of campus, the opposite of the L and the M building. This is the gate that you're going to walk through. If you come in through the student parking lot right here on our right is our weight room. Uh, if you have weight training, PE, or you play sports, you'll spend some time in here. Also attached to the weight room is the auxiliary gym. This is not the main gym, which is in the B building, but it's just another gym on campus. As we continue through this gate, up here on the left is going to be what's called the U building. That MHS Tigers is a way to spot the building, but athletic training is going to be in there, as are the locker rooms for several sports. We continue through this pathway and right there in front of us, that big building right there, that's the gym. Okay, so that's where the B building is. Everything behind that is the L, the M, all that. This is the N building. It is home to the uh, band room for our marching tigers and also the auditorium for our theater department when all of our plays will be there. And that'll do it for the virtual tour. There's everything we went and looked at. We saw a lot of buildings, saw a lot of classrooms. I'll show you guys a quick rundown of freshman teachers for this upcoming year. But this is Millennium. That was your virtual tour. Have a great year.